Good day. In this video, we're going to take a look at the different options on offer with our new second generation SL planting unit and planters. The primary fertilizer placement on our SL2 planters are still on each row unit behind the shear. On these machines, fertilizer are distributed by the planter's air distribution system and placed with an adjustable fertilizer shoe. The adjustable separator plate allows for the fertilizer to be placed at different depths and it can also be set to place fertilizer in a vertical band. The factory setting is still to have a shear at a 45mm offset from where the seed furrow will be created. We currently have three different shear options available for our SL2 planting unit. The first being our SL knife point shear, which is designed to cut through the soil with minimum soil disturbance. We also have a SL aerator shear which is mostly used to aerate and address compaction in soils that are prone to compacting without doing full tillage which dries out the soil. Then there is also our brand new SL straight knife point shear. This shear is intended for heavier black soils where the traditional shear angle brings up wet soil which sticks to the coulters and wheels. Of course, shears are still running behind a frame mounted residue coulter these coulters are equipped with a powerful coil spring and large 560mm coulter blade to reduce hair pinning and blockages. The SL planting unit have an array of options and settings to adapt according to just about any planting condition or soil type it encounters, but it can also be configured for different tillage practices. Therefore, our SL unit is often referred to as a 3-in-1 unit. In its standard form, the SL unit is a minimum tillage unit with a range of shear options for minimum soil disturbance. The shears can quickly and easily be replaced by a fertilizer coulter, which makes it ideal for no-till or conventional tillage systems. And just as quickly and easily, the entire planting unit can be replaced with a rolling basket changing our SL into a fertilizer pre-plant applicator. Anybody that are familiar with our SL planting units will be able to tell you that we value proper downforce and a planting unit that rides smooth and stable very highly. Therefore, even during the development of our first generation SL unit, we decided on hydraulic downforce to ensure we have sufficient downforce. The standard downforce adjustment for our new generation 2 SL units were redesigned to work better and faster. Similar to the previous generation SL units, the downforce on the gauge wheels are determined by the static pressure at which the tines are charged and the mechanical advantage created by the cylinder adjustment. With the development of our second generation SL planting unit, we took this one step further by adding the option to add delta force for row by row hydraulic downforce control. This option is used to account for soil variance especially when running gauge wheels close to the seed furrow or for more consistent planting depth at higher speeds. We currently have two seed hopper options, one being our 75 litre seed hopper which is mounted on each row unit or the alternative is to use one of our fertilizer hopper tanks as a bulk fill seed tank and our central seed distribution system to get the seed to each row. Watch this space as we'll be adding some more new options in future. The VC2 metering unit can still be equipped with any one of the following two drive options. The traditional ground drive system we have an easily adjustable gearbox to set the seed population and a safe maintenance free drive cable running to each of the metering units. Then of course there is the very popular V-drive option from Precision Planting. This is their electric drive motor which integrates with the 2020 system and controls each row unit individually. When considering the gauge wheels we can still offer any combination of the wide or narrow gauge wheels with the wide or narrow gauge wheel arms. For the new unit, we've made two other changes in this area, one being the new gauge wheel arms that are shaped to reduce the total width of the unit and the other was adding gate, a gauge wheel scraper option for clients whose soil conditions requires it. Our seed tube options have remained the same. When selecting ground drive, we'll make use of the usual bullseye seed tubes and when opting for V-Drive, we upgrade the seed tubes from the standard bullseye seed tubes to the bullseye with wave vision sensors. Alternatively, we can also offer precision planting speed tube to customers whose planting speed and conditions requires it. We have also developed a new and improved outer scraper for the seed discs. 
these new scrapers are adjusted closer from a colter from the outside by simply tightening a nut. The new scraper option allows for the C discs to run freely from any excessive resistance while the tungsten on the scraping edge ensures longevity. The new second generation of planting units can be equipped with an optional spring loaded seed firming wheel or one of two seed firmer options. The first seed firmer option is Precision Planting's new low stick Keaton seed firmer. Seed firmers doesn't work in all soil types but this particular version are made from a special material that most soil types will not stick to. The second seed firmer option is the Smart Firmer. This firmer has a built in sensor that can detect soil moisture, soil temperature, if there is material in the seed trends, the cathode exchange capacity and even differentiate between high and low potential areas of a field for variable rate control. As for the closing wheel system, we can offer the following options. Our standard closing wheel option on the SL planting units are the new double V steel closing wheels. These closing wheels have a flat surface to ensure that the seeds are properly firmed and a not scalter lip that cuts into the top soil to control the soil flow. These wheels in combination with the adjustable angle of the closing wheel fork helps to rebuild the seed furrow and ensure a very even surface finish. Alternatively, we can offer the traditional double V semi pneumatic closing wheels. And finally, we can also offer the latest precision plant and closing system, Furrow Force, for customers who want dynamic pneumatic pressure control per row on their closing system. For more information, please contact your nearest dealer or visit our website. Also look out for our video on the various placement options available with our new SL2 unit.